So we woke up this morning in Caliente, which is about 50 miles northeast of Alamo and ready to have some fun. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of scenery here in Caliente to enjoy, but we're actually leaving this morning on our way to a place we've never been, and that's Beaver Dam State Park. Getting to Beaver Dam State Park from Caliente is fairly simple, provided that the weather is good. We head just over five miles north on Highway 93 and then turn on to Beaver Dam Road. From there, it's 28 miles to the park. The miles go by fast, since the road keeps getting more scenic the longer you're on it. Beaver Dam and a number of other state parks were developed by the Civilian Conservation Corps back in the 1930s. The CCC consisted of thousands of unemployed young men who were hired by the government to build parks and infrastructure across the country. The structures they built still stand, and here at a CCC park bench, we meet Don Andone, the park interpreter. Hi, Don. Hi, Chris. Thanks for meeting Thanks. us. Yeah, it's gorgeous out here, and I had no idea what a nice drive it is to get out to this park. It's beautiful. It is 30 miles out of gravel road to get here, but it was a beautiful drive, yeah, right? Absolutely. Well, it would be great if we could do a little hiking today and see some of the park. Absolutely, we're gonna do that. So I have these passports for you guys. Oh, cool. And the passport program is something that we started a year or two ago. And that is, you can go to 15 state parks and get, we have like 23 state parks. You get 15 stamps, you get a stamp from each park and you can actually get a free annual pass. I, I think love we've it. been issued a challenge. Yeah, we, we must. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we'll start here and see how many we can get. Well, let's go see some more of the park. Absolutely, let's go. Beaver Dam makes a good first impression. I like what I see so far, and I'm really excited to get a better look at the park. Luckily, Don has the same idea. Well, we're in Camp Brown B, and we're going to go up the Overlook Trail to the top where we can see a lot of the park from up there. How long a trail are we looking at? This is about a mile. Um, it's a more strenuous trail just because you have to go uphill. So you're continually uh, walking uphill, but then once you get to the top, it's fairly level up there. And then coming down is always nice. I was gonna say, and of course, coming down <laughs> is gonna be all downhill then. <laughs> That's right. Beaver Dam State Park was established in the 1930s, but its history goes back even further. During the gold rush, people came through here looking for a shortcut to what they hoped would be a lucrative future in California. They didn't find the shortcut, but they did tell others about the striking features of this region, and eventually settlements followed. So the park is so scenic, and a lot of that scenery is volcanic rock that exists everywhere. We'll get to see those when we get up. Cool. It's one of the most remote parks in the state. You can come out here and be alone, hike around, relax, feel like you're a million miles away from civilization. Turn off the cell phone. Absolutely. And every once in a while along the trail, you'll see that there's a little sign that you can stop, read a little bit about some of the different things that are out here. Oh, speaking of, here's a little sign. Here's one of our signs. See, and this one talks about the native oaks that are here. So plants, animals, the geology, that's what people want to know about. So as we get up the trail further, you can see the view from here. Oh, oh yeah. look at that. It's rising up, all the colors. It's gorgeous. What is this telling us as far as the history of the way this was formed geologically? There was a volcano. It went off for millions of years and it laid all this volcanic ash all over what is now Eastern Nevada. So all the white is ash, so that would be welded tuff that you see. And as it's eroded, that's how you get all of those interesting formations. The more reddish colored stuff is actually lava flows. So the lava that came out of the volcano or came up through the ground. So from up here on the Beaver Dam Overlook Trail, you can kind of see the whole park and you can even see over into Utah. But the really great thing about this area is you feel like you're a million miles away from civilization. It's really, really gorgeous. And uh, if you want to feel like you've escaped, you definitely want to come here. Absolutely. It's gorgeous. Well, I'm glad you guys like it. But you know, the interesting thing about this area is we actually have five state parks in a 50 mile radius. And not one is like the other. Everyone is different. Everyone is unique. 
we're actually going to go see another one. Oh, cool. Sounds great.